So happy new year. It is a balmy seven degrees outside. Super, super cold. But as you can see, we can't get any solar right now because it is covered in snow. The nice thing about Colorado though is it'll probably warm up here later today and it'll at least melt off. But for those of you in colder places where it won't really come off easily, uh, we actually have an option to clean those off that we wanted to show you guys today that we kind of already prepped for just in case because as you can see, there's some clouds, but it is super sunny today and it would be a great day to get solar if we can clean those panels off. So one thing too, sometimes the snow will just slide off and kind of pile up in the front right on the actual roof part. So this option will also help clean that up too. So it's pretty bright out today, so I'll probably have to grab some sunglasses. But anyway, we have this pole right here along with an attachment that we got from Home Depot. I believe it was like $25, $30. And then it extends like 21 feet or so. And that should actually help us get rid of that snow up on the roof. So let's go ahead and put this together and see if it actually works. We got instructions, so that's great. I can see my breath. Mm -hmm. That's how cold it is. See how like loose that is? Mm. Oh no, I need a nut. So they have zero nuts? Zero nuts. Mm. It's, it's, and it's supposed to have nuts? It's supposed to have a nut. Huh, that sucks. Okay, so per the instructions, we're supposed to have two screws to attach these braces to this and then one long one to go through here with a nut on the end. Well, we are missing said nut. So, just a singular nut, but we're missing it, and we probably don't have anything that fits this, because it's a pretty fine thread. So we're gonna go ahead and try it, as is, see how it works, and we'll go ahead and get one from Home Depot or something later. But you can see, it should hold on, it's just gonna be a little wobbly. I imagine that's what that'll fix. What if it has like a stop that it'll like... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it does, okay. Oh boy. That's only two of the sections I out. Let's keep backing up. Oh man. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so ridiculous. So here, you can see our power flow. We have zero solar. Zero. So yeah, it's pretty easy to see. Obviously, they're covered with snow. Not gonna produce anything. So let's go ahead and see if we can change that here. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> right into the garage. Mm. Okay, so as you can see, we got two of the panels and we still have no solar, so it must just be a string with one of those other panels in it and it needs to be cleaned off. So, go ahead and do this for a little while. I don't know how this pole will work. It would be nice if maybe they had some kind of like reverse power so I could like heat them. That would be really nice. I don't know, what are your guys' ideas? Comment down below. Okay, so here we're at point one now. So, slowly but surely, the uh, nice thing about being here in Colorado as the sun comes out, as we are seeing it is now, it'll start melting everything off. So I really think this pole will be most beneficial on just getting the snow off the edge so it doesn't pile up and block the first set of panels. So, I mean, we are fortunate enough to be in a state with a lot of sun. So once it starts to melt here, probably in like a few hours, it'll all just pile up at the front. 
So this will just make it easier, take everything off, and uh, then we'll get a lot more solar. And as you can see, even on this part, the black trim has already started heating up and melting that snow. And so what will normally happen is it'll all fall forward, collect in front of the panels and normally block the first set. So this will be super easy to clean those off. So one thing too is if you do have microinverters, those go panel by panel. So once every, one singular panel is uncovered, it'll start producing. We actually have ours, I think in like eight or nine different strings. Unfortunately, we have to have a few uncovered at once, but with the Colorado, we don't really have to worry about it. I don't know if you can see, but these panels we just did, you can already see like little water droplets forming because it is already starting to like warm up and melt off. Um, but yeah, so just doing like these six panels and like four over here, we already started producing one kilowatt, which actually is enough to run all our household usage. Obviously not the cars, but the household, yes. So Scott is getting those panels. Unfortunately though, the panels on that part of the house, which we can't even really see, uh, are a little too high to get. But we can get these at least. We will be able to get the uh, top once the snow starts to fall off though. Okay, so I just wanted to mention we actually ended up almost with seven kilowatt hours today, which actually is not that bad considering a little bit more than half our panels were covered with snow. Yes, this is something we knew going into this is during the winter, obviously they would get snow on them. People in like California, in Arizona, Texas, Florida, any of like the southern states really don't have to worry about this. This is something really that if you get snow, could potentially be an issue. But we knew this going in, it was explained to us. Just kind of wanted to make this video and show you guys how we are kind of getting around it. Had a couple other ideas come up while we were doing this, so maybe in the future we'll address those. But for now, this is what we're gonna go ahead and keep doing should we need it. But the great thing about Colorado is the snow never really stays. Worst case, there might be a day or two of snow, but if the grid does go down, we have this option to where we can clear up those panels if we really need them ASAP to get us by. So it is great to still have the solar, super happy with it. This was in no way meant to be a video where I'm just bashing solar. I just wanted to make sure that came clear through the video and everything, because I'm sure a lot of people are, will twist this and make this a negative on solar, and it's not something that it should be. And before I send you back to Eric filming in the driveway in the freezing weather, just wanted to give a quick shout out to, to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, who's really helping make all these videos possible for you guys. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Tesla Model SX or Model 3, feel free to use the link in the description and using code Tesla Inventory, all one word at checkout will actually get you 15% off your first order. So definitely check it out. But I'll send you back to Eric freezing in the weather earlier today. Okay, while well Scott finishes that up, we'll go ahead and outro this. Uh, but yeah, so just cleaning off a few panels actually will allow us to totally use everything from the house, uh, from our solar, which is pretty awesome as well as help put a little bit back into our power walls. And then as soon as it starts to melt a little bit, it'll clear right up probably in a few hours. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for this poll. Let me know, is that something you guys would use? I mean, I kind of figure it just is like most people will shovel their driveway. It's just we're kind of shoveling our roof. Luckily we don't have to do our driveway, so we just do this instead. But yeah, as always, if you guys are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. And if you're looking to purchase a new or inventory Model SX or Model 3, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below. It'll actually get you six or nine months of free supercharging, depending on if you have taken a test drive or not. And if you are looking for solar, you can go ahead and use that link also and get five free years on your solar panel warranty, which is an awesome perk. And if you use it, definitely reach out to us via email so that way we have your contact information so when we take delivery of our next gen roadster, we can invite you guys out, have a big old party, because really without your support, none of this would be possible and we can't thank you guys enough. As always though, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.